It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Hugh Freedy Group Best in Practice video series. It's designed around highlighting some common challenges in the dental office and providing actionable recommendations on best practice solutions. Our approach here is to feature specific Hugh Freedy Group experts who are in offices every day, which affords them a unique opportunity to document common challenges, share their learnings with you, and do so via a crisp three-minute story. As part of each installment in the Best in Practice video series, we'll highlight specific resources and next step actions you can take, such as engaging with our consultants to have them bring their experience and expertise to support your own Best in Practice journey. Thanks for your time, and we hope the Best in Practice video series adds value and impact to your practice. Hi, my name is Joe Main, and I'm a Regional Account Manager with Hugh Freedy Group. Today's installment of the Best in Practice video series is all about the power and confidence of knowing versus the risk and anxiety associated with not knowing. Knowing what you might ask? Well, knowing what's going on with your dental unit water lines. I've been in the dental industry for more decades than I will say here, and with the number of dental practices that I've visited over my career, one thing is clear. If not properly maintained and monitored, dental unit water lines can be a runaway train the practice never sees coming. Why? Because the narrow tubing of your dental unit water lines can be a breeding ground for a variety of dangerous bacteria, and the consequences of inaction can be dire for your patients and your practice. So here's the question. Wouldn't it be great to have a quick and simple way to easily confirm that your dental unit water is safe and compliant? Well, I'm happy to inform you that the answer to that question is yes. The Hugh Freedy Group 24-hour dental unit water line test is designed for that very purpose. And it's that simple. If it comes back blue, you're good to go and you know for sure. If it comes back any color other than blue, you know it requires attention and Hugh Freedy Group will partner with you to take the countermeasures required to get you back to blue. Okay, let's get into the challenges of the dental unit water lines and highlight best in practice testing, corrective action, and long-term maintenance. Let's first start by outlining a best practice dental unit water line protocol. There are three main areas of the protocol, preparation, implementation, and continuation. Implementation is where the main work happens, like treatment, testing, and shocking. For our purposes, we'll focus on the testing portion of the protocol. Testing is important, but why? It ensures that patients are being treated with water that meets the EPA drinking water guidelines of under 500 CFUs per milliliter. It validates that the treatment products and protocols being used in an office are effective and being used properly. Dental unit water line testing can seem complicated and time consuming to dental professionals. However, with Hugh Freedy Group's 24-hour in-office dental unit water line test, it's easy to take the water samples and read the results in your office in 24 hours with a simple glance at the color. The test is very easy to use. You can print up a water test sample log available on hughfreedygroup.com to help you keep track of your samples. You should also refer to the fact sheet, Technique for Obtaining a Water Test Sample, which is available on hughfreedygroup.com. Be sure to have the product IFU on hand. Taking a water sample is very easy. First, label your vial. Then, following aseptic techniques, remove the cap and either keep it in your hand or place it open side up on a clean surface. Fill to the 5 ml mark. Seal and shake until the dry media in the tube is dissolved. The water will turn blue. It's recommended that you take a photo of the tube up against a white piece of paper. Now, you place it on the counter at room temperature and let it sit for 24 hours. So how do you read a sample? Well, after 24 hours, take a second photograph of the vial in the same place in front of a white piece of paper. If there is any variation from the original blue color, 
This indicates that the CFU count is greater than 500, which is a failure. In the end, the simplicity of this test is that the color will tell you all you need to know. Our team of Hugh Freedy Group water consultants are standing by to assist you with the challenges and solutions we've outlined in this video. Please use the QR code you see on the screen and follow the prompts to request a sample.